I'm telling you right now with this, like I'm struggling. Like I can't seem to focus on anything. I can't really seem to like be at my best because I'm truly, truly concerned. Realizing I can't control everything is something that is hard for me to deal with as a man. I'm usually someone who truly believes everything happens for a reason and that God's timing is perfect. But I'd be lying if I said that's something I always feel. I hate the feeling of the unknown, not knowing how things will turn out. And I think that's part of the reason that I don't like surprises. Before Maddie was born, I was able to hide the emotion at the end of the pregnancy because I was distracted trying to make the team in Cincinnati. But with this baby, I have to sit here and feel every emotion and figure out how to navigate through it while still showing my family that daddy is good. But every bit of me wants to cry out and say how nervous I am for Charlotte's health, the baby's health, and just not knowing what the hell is gonna happen. All right, fam bam. This is how you know the baby's getting close. We're doing our maternity shoot today and that's usually the sign that we're really, really close. We're going to do it in our house. Last time we did it in our house, but we had a different photographer do it. We have a new photographer. She takes all of our photos. Y'all seen her a couple of times. She's taken all of our photos that are on our little display up here. She took our Christmas photos. She took Maddie's first year birthday photos. You guys will meet her here shortly, but now we're getting the house ready because Charlotte has all these things that she wants to do. So I gotta just do them. I moved the TV from over there because Charlotte has a cool project that she's about to do. She's gonna make our wall into like this whole craft thing. I'm gonna let y'all watch Charlotte get down on this thing because she's like excellent at this kind of stuff. And then we're gonna get ready for these photos. Call me Mr. Tibbs. So the flower wall is all done. Maddie got her bath. Maddie, are you all clean? Yeah. Say all clean. Whoa, good balance. You an athlete, just like daddy, huh? Running really fast. You running really fast? Go outside. Wanna go outside? Yes. Okay. We gotta get dressed first, okay? Then we can go outside. You ready to get dressed? Hair. Huh? Hair. Hair? Hair. Come on. Hair. Thank you. Come here, pretty girl. Are you ready to take pictures, pretty girl? Huh? Do yeah. on, but let's bring you forward just a little bit. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay, I'm ready. I say it on record, it's a boy. <laughs> I'm learning that in order to lead my family well, it's taking constant trial and error and learning about myself. And one thing I'm learning about myself is that vulnerability takes true strength and shouldn't be looked at as a weakness. Vulnerability is something that has been hidden from me as a kid because of the stereotypes that men should have about themselves, to not show emotion, and I'm learning that it's not a safe place. Maybe you wanna go outside? Oh, baby brother. You want baby brother? You want a baby brother? Or baby sister. Oh, baby sister. Mommy! <laughs> Does mama look pretty? Mommy. Mommy's so pretty, huh? Maddie's pretty. <laughs> Maddie's pretty too. Is Daddy pretty? Daddy, yes. In order for me to lead my family how God intends me to, I have to show my vulnerability. And it's important for me to express myself for my wife and my kids, letting them in on if I'm hurting or if I'm scared or if I feel weak. And I know there will be trial and error to be able to express myself in a healthy way to my family. But starting is what's most important and not being afraid. Do you like how the photos came out? Well, not really how they came out. I guess we don't know, but are you happy? Do you think they're gonna be good? I don't know. Like, Whitley's amazing, but Maddie was just acting a fool. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to know for sure. She just, she wasn't with my vision. <laughs> For real. Mm -hmm. It was nice for me to be able to like go out and take those photos and get my mind off of stuff a little bit because I've been like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I don't like talking about stuff like this because I try to be like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just calm down. 
I'm trying to calm down, but I want the baby just to be here already because I don't like just waiting like this. The baby can literally come tonight. Baby could come anytime, but I feel like the baby should just stay in there, keep cooking a little longer. Why? Because Maddie was only 5'13 at 40 weeks. So are you worried about the baby's weight? I just think that I'm going to have small babies and I just want the baby to cook as long as possible. Yeah, but I don't know if a week will add on that much more weight. <laughs> I don't know either, but I'm just saying. You don't want him to be too, too small. Well, this... I don't want him to be too big either. You don't want that big thing pushing out of that small hole. Okay, stop. Oh, yeah, sorry. The thing that's giving me a little bit of anxiety is that every pregnancy is different, every labor and delivery is different, and every like postpartum and baby is different. And like I just feel like we had such a smooth labor and delivery with Maddie, and I was like had such a smooth postpartum recovery that I'm like. How is this baby going to make its way into this world? Like, what's it going to be like? Is it going to be smooth? Or, is, like, you know? That's the thing that gets me. But it's not really, to me, it's not really the day or the time. Like, we can't control that. The baby's just, whenever it's ready, it's going to come. So, I don't know. I, I mean, I guess we can't control how it comes either. But I just pray that it's, like, smooth and quick and safe, healthy. Mm -hmm. But we still don't even know the gender, which just blows my mind. Honestly, now that it's so close, I don't even think about the gender anymore. And that's why, that's why it really validates for me that like I really don't care what the gender is. Because all I'm focused on is like, it being, getting here. I haven't here. been thinking like, what is it, what is it, what is it? I'm just like, oh my gosh, we're about to find out. And like, we really don't even know. Mm -hmm. I think you just gotta relax and enjoy the process. Take a page out of your book, ride the wave, go with the flow. I just always try to lead our family in a way that, you know, I can like put the whole load on my back, you know what I mean? Because that's what I want to do for us. Um, but I'm telling you right now with this, like I'm struggling, like I can't seem to focus on anything. I can't really seem to like be at my best because I'm truly, truly concerned about I think the fact that I'm not just not knowing when it can happen, like where am I going to be at? You know what I'm saying? Like where I'm, what am I going to be doing? What if something's wrong with me? What if Shard's water break and I'm out getting food? You know what I'm saying? What if like the car runs out of gas or something? <laughs> you know what I'm keep saying? Keep gas in the car. Yeah, I guess it's that simple. But like, like I said, when I wasn't here the first time, I had I didn't think about any of that stuff. But now mm -hmm. I'm here and I have to deal with it. It's just way more for you to think about. Yeah. It's like when you were gone, it was like, oh, it could happen, but I'm so far away, like. Like you just had, you just had, it was just totally different. Yeah. But this time it's like you're in it. Mm -hmm. But I just feel like the baby's going to come when the baby's ready. You don't have the whole load on your back. I've got the whole load right here. <laughs> and I just feel like this is the time where we really just have to like let go of the control, let go of the anxiety and just be at peace knowing that. It's all going to go exactly as God plans it. Mm -hmm. And like we can sit here and like count down our clocks and look at our lists and whatever, but we don't have any control in any of it, you know, unless we get like so far along that we do like set an induction date or something. But right now, we're just waiting for him to tell us. So you just need to relax. I'm relaxed. You gotta relax. Maddie's relaxed. The thing is, you're relaxed right now, but once you out the pushing, like the roles are gonna have to switch, and I gotta <laughs> be the one that's like relax and like holding hands again. Okay, but at. that's like game time. Like when we get there, you're gonna be in game mode. Like, oh yeah, you know, I know how I am in game mode, exactly. baby. I do my so thing. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. I know I'll be fine in game mode. I just need to know when the game starts. We don't know when the game starts. Okay, but you're gonna get some warm up time. You'll be straight. Like, there's different things. Your water could break, your mucus plug can fall out. <laughs> when the doctor was telling me, I'm like, what the heck is a mucus plug? Oh, don't yeah. tell me. I don't want to know. <laughs> well, should we Google it? You want to see a picture? No, absolutely not. I'll show you when mine falls out. Maddie is knocked out of sleep. 
Maddie tired. So you're gonna hit the bed? Yeah, I'm tired. Could be our last night as a family of three. Stop playing, you do that on purpose. <laughs> I'm just joking. I was gonna kiss you, but I'm not kissing you anymore. <laughs> you're lost. I got these luscious lips. <laughs> give me some, 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 please, please, please. Love you, Karen. Not if you kiss me like Maddie. Okay. Oh my <laughs> gross. Hey, give me a kiss, give me a kiss, give me a kiss. Gross, give me a kiss, no. give me a kiss, give me a kiss. Give me a, kiss. No, give me a kissy. You. This is so kissy. nice. No. Maddie, kissy, Maddie, kissy. <laughs> Maddie, mama. No. Mama. Are you really about to leave? 